I'm bringing the girl over to Kalispell where I have the other truck and we're going to swap out the two beds. I decided the easiest thing to do would be just take the bed off of the two of them and just, you know, swippy swap. Now this is basically the first time she's been run all winter. Been parked all winter under cover. I mean, I drove it around town just for a, a few minutes um, before I left, but basically it's been sitting here all winter. I get halfway up the big hill and all of a sudden I just start to lose power. What it felt like, and I, what I'd wondered is had I blown a, a brake line to one of the, the spring brakes? And was I having a, a spring brake clamp on? And I checked the air pressure, and the air pressure is normal on both the primary and the secondary. And then it starts to hammer and knock and shake. And so I was worried I was about to lose power steering. So I just whip it off into some lady's driveway and, and slam on the brakes. And it's sitting there just stumbling and knocking and shaking at about 250, 300 RPMs. And I reach down to shut it off, sure that something serious has just gone wrong, and all of a sudden it all stuck. The idle came back up. It was making a, a knock noise, but it was more like a, a fuel knock rather than anything else. And the, I, the RPMs came back up. The oil pressure had never wavered, never dropped. I popped the hood. I don't see anything amiss. Nothing sounds amiss. It wasn't too hot. I have no idea what just happened. <coughs> I'm now out of cell phone range. I do have a bunch of tools with me, but not all of them. I'm hoping that what just happened was some sort of air bubble came through that sitting all, all winter long had allowed, I don't know, the uh, fuel filter to back feed into the tank or, or something. Because whatever it was, the truck had run uh, three miles, four miles, up a steep hill. It was working. And then it just died, sort of. And then it just came back. And now it appears to be 100%. So I'm going to go ahead and continue on. And I'm going to continue with the process of elimination deduction that what I had was some sort of air blockage in the line as a result of sitting all winter. If that's not true, there'll be an addendum to this video of me beside the road with a 6,000 pound engine, uh, a smoking ruin in front of me, and you get to watch me cry. I'd prefer you not see me cry.